and our teddy bear is going to be in the center here, but the teddy bear is going to have like a pumpkin outfit on. So it's going to, going to look like it's a pumpkin teddy bear, maybe out trick-or-treating. So we're going to need our brown icing again to do this, to do the teddy bear's body and stuff. So to start off with the head of your teddy bear, now I want to put him right about in here. Okay? So I would say right in this area. So just below, you don't want to go above your last row of fencing here. You want to go just below. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I am using a tip number 12 for this one, and I need to tighten up before I go any further here. So what I want to do is take my tip, push it against my board, well it's going to be your icing I would say, and you want to just let that come out with a large bubble, like so. So just hold it in place and let it bubble up. And hopefully you can see that. I know it's kind of tough to see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to go back on top with just a little bit, but I want to bring it sideways at an angle. And just build a little tiny area for the mouth and then wipe that away. And I'm going to bring this clear up so hopefully you guys can see I'm creating the face of the teddy bear is what I'm doing. Okay? So that's what's going on there. Then I'm going to go over here on the side and create an ear and then another ear. And as you can see, we're starting to get the look. Okay? Then I'm going to come down here and pull a leg down, just make, you know, just a straight line and a straight line right beside it and stop. So that's what you've got. And then take your bag and stand it straight up like you're piping a little tiny bubble and come straight out. So you're going to have a point that's sticking straight up. And I'll, I'll stand this up for you in just a minute and show you. And I'm going to tap that down a bit because I don't want him to come out that far. But let me hold the board like this so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And hopefully you can see how that's standing up. Okay, so I have the two feet standing up like just like feet would for a teddy bear. Okay, so now we are going to need your orange icing, and this is a tip number 12 as well, because the 12 is just a plain round tip, and it seems to do a really good job for the figure piping and creating little men and animals and different things. Now this one's a little more trickier for me because I need to de do this in a C, in the letter of a C, so I'm going to pipe it on here real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. So it looks like a letter C, okay? And you're going to do a C on that side and a C on this side and come down. Not as much like a heart like that one's looking like but just you're going to keep doing those on each side and then come straight down the middle and that's how you're going to pipe the little pumpkin that's going to be in the center but over here we need to come down straighter not really a heart shape more of a round but I'm trying to do this sideways and it's a little crazy on me <laughs> yeah, I think I'll turn this around so you guys can see, you know, what it really looks like the correct way. So let me do this.
maybe I can do it now, filling it in. And then I'm going to go and do another layer on top of this one because I want this to be a 3D effect, okay? And I think we got it. So as you can see, we have a little pumpkin outfit on it now. The body is actually a pumpkin. Then you're going to need your brown again, and we're going to create our arms. So I'm going to start up here towards the neck of our little guy and bring the arm around on top of the pumpkin so that it looks like he's holding his belly, okay? And this is all figure piping is. If you've not heard about it, it's just a way to create figures and 3D things out of buttercream icing. Let me bring that up so you can see it. It is so cute. Isn't that adorable? Cute little guy. But that's really all it is. Then I have black icing re ready to go here, and then I'll put the face on. Let me get this one together here. Get it primed and ready to go. So then I'm going to just dot an eye on each side, and then a little nose in the center. And I'll bring that close so you guys can kind of see what I did. Isn't that adorable? I love it. And then you can also do another one. And I like to do a smaller one, kind of like, you know, the big bear and the little bear. So we'll go through and we'll do the same exact thing. We'll do one right over here. So you want to start off with just a bubble of icing. So once again, we'll go ahead and just try and do a C from the side. And there's many more different animals and different things that you can do out of figure piping. There's mice and alligators and all sorts of different ones that, you know, we'll try and cover uh, at some point. I was going to show other ones tonight, but I figured um, I wanted to show you guys how to do this sheet cake. And I thought, well, why don't we just cover the entire cake instead of just doing different animals and whatnot. Um, because, you know, Halloween is very close. Okay, so we've got our little body. And I'll take my chocolate now and create my legs. So just pull a line down and then another line down right beside it and then just take a little bubble and pull away for the foot on each side and this one's not want to work because I've got too much icing built up okay there we go and then I just like to tap that down a bit once it's set up so you don't have a huge point on there. Okay, and then you're going to bring your arms around like we did on the larger one. So start over here and bring it around over top. I'm going to straighten my bag out again. Oh yeah, we could do that. Oh, I wish I hadn't didn't have that other arm on there. That, that is a really cute idea with the bears holding hands. Like big brother. Like big brother, little brother. Yeah, how cute. I'll tell you, I love it.